episode of the Woolly Mastodon Creates Podcast, episode 19. My name is Tori or Victoria, the mastermind behind the crazy, and today is March 28th, uh, a lovely end of the month podcast. Uh, you can find me in several places. You can find me on Instagram as Victoria Schwanke, that's where I'm most active. You can find me on Ravelry as Lil Westy, L I L Westy. You can find me, of course, on the blog, woollymastodon.wordpress.com. And then you can also find me on YouTube and on Facebook a little bit. Um, for the most part, Facebook is just for the YouTube page, and, or the YouTube page, the Facebook page, and then just to share what I'm sharing on Instagram already. So, with that, we're going to dive right in. Um, how am I going to do it? I suppose I should say. You know, with recent events, some things on here will be a little different, but, you know, we're all just moving forward, and for everyone in the world, stay safe. I know a lot of people are addressing everything that's going on in their videos, and honestly, we all know what's going on. Stay safe, be smart, and yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that for now, ah, with the current world events. Oh. I'm definitely running the dishwasher. I thought I heard something fall. It's probably our neighbors upstairs. Anyway, moving on. Let's move on to the, the fun part. I do have an FO today, and I am wearing it. It is my Ursa sweater by Jacqueline Seaslack. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I apologize. Um, but I love this thing. This thing took me only two weeks to knit up. I have never knit a sweater in my life in only two weeks. And it's fantastic. Um, I knit it to pattern. And I should use my details about the sweater before I go into what I did to it. Uh, I used a US 8 5mm needle. And I used Lion Brand Homespun in Barley and Prairie. And I wanted to use something that was in my stash. I actually had this yarn in my stash. It was my mom's. She really liked the homespun yarn from Lion Ran. You can see it's very, very marled. I don't know if you'll see on the sleeve. Um, but it's very marled. I had actually knit a shawl with it. She really liked it. So some had gone on sale and we bought a whole bunch. And it just sat. We never really decided what I was going to knit with it. Other new and shiny things came up. And I ended up knitting her different things. And... I have ended up getting, of course, and, and uh, not of course, but uh, I ended up getting her stash of yarn that was left over. And I was going through yarn. I wanted to knit a sweater. Long story short, I wanted to knit something else and I didn't have the yarn for it. And I believe I shared in my last podcast, I did, the yarn that I got. Um, but I wanted to knit something else because I couldn't knit the sweater I wanted. And I decided I need to use my stash. We're in a time where we really shouldn't be going out. I shouldn't be buying more stuff. And so I cast on a sweater and why not use affordable yarn? Or at least at the time, I still haven't checked prices on this now. Um, but at least at the time, if this still exists, but at the time this was more affordable. You can buy this at like a Walmart or could. And, um, correct me if I'm wrong if it doesn't exist anymore, but you could buy this at a Walmart. It wasn't that expensive, and I mean in the scheme of things compared to like any dyed wool or something like that, it's a little fancier yarn. It's far cheaper, far less expensive, but still really nice. And so I dove into knitting this, and guys, I knit it in two weeks. I didn't want to put it down. I absolutely love it. I'm messing with it because there's like a part in the front that likes to like bunch up weird and I don't like that but that's just my bind off and I'm not fixing it so it's fine um but yeah I, I'll try to remember to insert a finished object photo here I did take a couple they're already on Ravelry I think I put it on Instagram too but I'm really happy with it um I knit it I'll see if you can see uh, sorry for the weird let's like get down here I knit it a little longer than the pattern suggests Mainly because I don't like extremely cocked crop starters, like it would probably stop here. So I knit it a little longer, but the sleeves I knit exactly to pattern. I absolutely love it. Ah, I love it so much. Um, it's got a v neck in the front, and then the back is just normal. And yeah, I, I love it. I love the detail. The details do get a little muddled just because it is, you know, um, a marled yarn. But I ended up striping every two rows the two different colors because I wouldn't have had enough of one color to finish the sweater and I actually have quite a bit of yarn left I had four skeins in total two of each and I still have quite a bit of each skein left I don't know where I put the yarn anymore but I'm super happy and don't ask me how this happened but I knit the body and then I knit each individual sleeve 
and the striping matched up. Like the striping on the sleeves matched up with the striping on the sweater of the color Prairie, I believe it is. And like it ends on the sleeves, it ends at the same color. I didn't practice that. I didn't do anything to try to make it match. I didn't match this up. It just happened. So really cool. Really happy with it. Wouldn't have been upset if it didn't match, but the fact that it does is really cool. Obviously I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, I've been rambling on about the sweater forever. It's the Ursa sweater. I love the cropped length. I'm surprised, but I love it. 100% would recommend it. Go out and knit it. You don't have to use fancy yarn. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right, so moving on, moving on. I do have works in progress. Uh, let's see, I've got a basket on the floor. Uh, you can kind of see my computer monitors from work. Our setup's a little different today just because, yeah, work is at home now. <laughs> um, but let's see, I have been working on the hedgehog mittens and I'll just show you the bag because I have made zero progress on this because I was basically knitting this sweater and then once I finished this, I picked up some other things. So, um, won't even show you this, but I am knitting the Hedgehog Mitts by Spilly Jane. And I'm using Knit Picks palette. Um, I have shown it on other podcasts. It doesn't really pay to show it now because I haven't had any project progress. But it is in one of my homemade project bags. So I figured that would be worth showing me these years ago. But yeah, haven't made any progress on it. It's still a phenomenal pattern. I just got sidetracked by this sweater and then some other things. So anyway, moving along. Um, I have made progress on, everything's on the floor, my bigger on the inside shawl. And this is actually a mix of the wave deck pattern by Kate Atherley and the bigger on the inside shawl by Kate Atherley. And both of these are free patterns on Nitty, so 100%, no cost to you if you want to look at them. Nitty is fantastic, highly recommend. Um, I actually have finished this is going to be very hard to show. I have finished, which way is the right way? This is the right way. I have finished the wave deck pattern, which is, I don't know if you'll even really be able to see. It's this really cool, almost like florally deal. Um, and I'm now just into the TARDIS section of the bigger on the inside shawl. And it's really hard to show. I think this will be one of those things where I tell you, hey, it's really cool, but you won't be able to see that it's really cool until it's blocked and I have finished object photos. But I'm knitting this on a US ooh, six four millimeter needle and this is knit out of Knit Picks Deep Waters Tonal, their stroll fingering. Really like it. Old stash, old project that I wanted to knit forever because I bought this year just to knit this project. And yeah, and actually, I'm still only on the first skein. I have this much, that much left. We'll just leave that on the floor. I have a full other cake caked up for this. So I haven't used that much yarn, but obviously I've been putting a dent in that. Oh, I'm just going to try to pull the ball yarn closer to me just with the strand, but that's just going to make things worse. So we'll throw that on the floor. When I finished this, I kind of took a hiatus from knitting for a few days because I just was solid knitting this. Um, I don't actually really have extra time due to recent events with the world with COVID-19, but we'll go on that later. But I was just knitting a lot in the time that I normally would have. And so then I just kind of stopped for a few days and then I started picked up that. So that's what I've been working on. Uh, let's see, next work in progress. You guys have seen this. I think I've maybe put a row in this since we last spoke. Again, didn't work a whole lot on this. Um, these are my toe-up socks. Uh, this is knit out of Patton's Croy Blue Striped Ray colorway. I've maybe knit, like I said, a row on this since we last spoke. I always knit my socks on US size 1, 2.25 millimeter needles, uh, magic loop, and I always do a forethought afterthought heel, and I can never remember what the actual term is for that. But, yep. First sock, haven't gotten super far, knit like a row on it, because this would normally be my travel knitting or like my bring to work knitting to knit on breaks and I haven't been going into the office for work and we have not been traveling anywhere or going anywhere so these kind of have been languishing but that's okay I mean the only reason I have socks on the needles all the time is because I have something to do sorry I'm distracted the birds 
are singing so much and it's so nice where we used to live in South Range up north. You didn't hear the birds just because of where we were. So super happy to hear birds. But anyway, not a whole lot of progress on these, but they are still occasionally getting worked on. Um, another thing that I believe I showed last time, uh, I've gotten farther on it, I've joined the other scam yarn and I lost the crochet hook already, but I am working on a blanket for midnight, another crocheted granny square, um, this is knit, or knit, crocheted out of Red Heart, I think it's called the Bright Stripe, it's a super saver, um, super great yarn if you're going to knit for or crochet for pets because it, this can take a beating. You can throw it in the washer, you can throw it in the dryer. Yeah, it can take a beating. So I love this for blankets. And I don't have that much left. <laughs> I'm being really careful because this is all I have left of this last skein. And then I'll just use some scraps to finish it off. But I have a second blanket in the works for her. I'm using a USH, uh, what is that? A five millimeter hook. Um, I think I got here. Yep, I've got my trusty five millimeter hook that I use for making afghans. You're not gonna be able to see this very easily. But got that here. It is in the works. I have been working on this like at the very end of the evening just to kind of wind down because it's very simple and I don't have to think about it, which is fantastic right now, especially just with everything in my brain. Um, and it's great because since starting to work from home, I have like tons of mid midnight stuff in this room. She's got a basket that she has commandeered that she loves to sleep in. And the box from my Knit Picks order, which is apparently just the right size, which she loves to sleep in. And I brought her blanket in here because when I'm at work, she's got to be in here. So at least she has places to sleep. So another one of these will be much needed and very well received. So that is that. Um, I do actually have one last work in progress. I kind of, I was talking, I think last episode or maybe the episode before that I really don't have any more languishing whips. I'm still working on that big blanket, but that's just a, um, turning the big blanket squares into small animal blankets, but that's just going to be a long-term goal when I feel like working on it. So I'm not really pushing myself. I'm just glad that it's not going to be sitting in a bag anymore. But I was going through and I always have a couple works in progress on the needles, like simple dishcloths out of cotton yarn and I have a lot of yarn that's for babies because I would used to knit hats to donate to hospitals so I should get back into that that's that's something else that I have on the needles at all times but I had one more project you guys maybe remember when I knit this hat ages ago it's just a hat design I was gonna end up selling these may still I don't know um, but it's just with a, like a, I don't remember what stitch pattern I used, but it's a very simple hat design. I like it. It's slightly slouchy with the pom-pom, you know. Well, I was knitting another one. I had actually started another one. I found this. I was digging through my works in progress, my whips, and managed to find this. And literally all I have done is the ribbing, but that's okay. Um, I have quite a bit of yarn. I'm knitting this on U.S six four millimeter needles and I'll probably go up a needle size when I get to the body of the hat which is any time now but I think originally I was going to like design a new hat for this and I like so I like how that hat turned out so I think I'm just gonna knit that same hat again in this color and we'll go from there um, this I think was this was like maybe one of those red heart soft yarns I don't know there's no tag to it and you can tell it's kind of been destroyed um, yeah, I found this in my progress, works in progress, and I was like, well, I might as well just work on it. Um, but yeah, I'm in another one of these. I'm gonna finish this up just with the same hat pattern that I did last time and just see if I can perfect my technique. Uh, but yeah, I really like these in the least. If I don't sell these, I can give them as gifts maybe. I don't know who's really in the market for a hat like this, but yeah. Um, that is another project on the needles, and I think that's actually my last work in progress that I'm going to mention, and it's probably my, I think my last one at, in this room. So we're good there. Projects have done. Um, but yeah, it's my last work in progress. Uh, I don't have any spinning, because again, you know, I've been doing other things like knitting, knitting up a storm, I'm trying to see if I'm forgetting anything here. I don't think so. I think that's all my work in progress. Ugh. I've got hair everywhere. 
hair everywhere. It's good grief. Uh, with that, we'll move on to, I don't have any stash enhancements for obvious reasons. I haven't gone anywhere, and I don't really have a reason to purchase anything, and I shouldn't be purchasing anything. So we'll just put that out there. Uh, I do have a non-knit love. Again, I haven't gone anywhere, so we haven't brought anything new into the house other than some groceries. But, you know, everybody is pulling out their game systems lately, and, you know... I'm not that type of person. I'm not super into game systems. I maybe eventually will try to obtain one. My husband has something, but I'm not interested in the stuff that he plays, so it's just kind of like I don't care. Well, I remembered that when I was going through stuff in my old bedroom up in Houghton, I had found my old Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance, which, mind you, these are hand-me-downs from my cousin. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Because I never bought these. I wasn't into gaming at all or anything like that. But, you know, um, he, they asked if I'd like them. And I, I was like, sure. And I got a lot of fun. They were a lot of fun. Um, I didn't play any, like, the crazy mainstream games. But I have, like, a, my Game Boy Advance with the light on it. <laughs> and then I have a Game Boy Color. Well, when before we moved, I found out the Game Boy Color I'd never take the batteries out of. And... It got completely corroded so the other night I was like I'm gonna try fixing it because the least the worst that will happen is that it won't work which is what's gonna happen if I don't clean it anyway so I cleaned it out guys this Game Boy Color works it works I'm really excited um, so I have not that many games but like I have a lot of Pac-Man it's on my Instagram if you want to see it but like Guys, these games are memory lane. What have I got? I got Rugrats. I got Bugs Bunny, Carrot Crazy, Pac-Man, Harry Potter, ooh, Hamtaro for those of you who were Hamtaro fans back in the day. And then like for the Game Boy Advance, I have Frogger. But I don't have many games, but it's been really fun to just kind of play these. And I know retro is the new cool, so it's just kind of fun to see that, you know, these still work. And the fact that that Game Boy Color still works is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I can't even believe it, because the battery was just everywhere. The, the corrosion was everywhere. It was terrifying to clean out. It was so bad. Um, so I don't know how long it'll last, but it's really cool that it's working. So, small things there. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much everything I've got for non-knit loves. I mean... Nothing's coming into the house. I'm not really doing anything new. Uh, so with that, we'll move on to life lately. I think at this point, many of us are all in the same boat, feeling kind of cooped up or what have you. Um, at, right after my last podcast, I did indeed start working from home. So I got, we actually ran to Target, and I think I maybe had even had this set up when I podcasted last. I don't know. Um, but I didn't actually have a desk I could put computer monitors on plural you can see one of them's here and so I did start we transitioned that Monday night I brought all my stuff home and for that two weeks ago Tuesday I was working from home have been working from home since I've only left the house once since I started working from home and that would be a week ago Friday when we went grocery shopping and man that's grocery shopping right now is very depressing I will say that when you go to the store and you're out of something, like something basic, like even just milk or eggs or what have you, and they have none, it's like, okay, well, that was fun. And so that was kind of how our entire grocery shopping trip went, and we hit up a couple stores, and it was just, it was great. So anyway, Tuesday, I think, was when, yeah, Monday was when governor, the governor of Wisconsin finally issued a shelter-in-place order, so my husband went out while I was at work and bought a few more groceries because he was actually able to find a few things, and I haven't left the house since. He does have to leave the house for work, but I haven't left the house since. Um, so yeah, just staying in, knitting. My schedule hasn't changed that much. I've gained a little bit of time just because I don't have my commute time, but my commute time, including me getting out to the car, being lazy, you know, shuffling around is 20 minutes. So I haven't gained a whole lot of time either way because I end up using that just to get food from our kitchen. Um, 
But yeah, it's the commute time hasn't really saved anything, so my work schedule hasn't changed. I don't have all this excess time to clean or what have you. But I have been knitting more, and that's just because I've been stress knitting, I would say. I didn't think this was really stressing me out, but then yesterday I had some symptoms from being stressed a couple of years ago now when my mom passed away. Um, so, like, there's certain things that happen when I actually had to go to the doctor, and they were like, yeah, it's stress. And it came back yesterday, so... That was frustrating, but thankfully my boss was actually seeing if anyone wanted to go home early and I was just like, hey, <laughs> I'm not feeling good. Can I just duck out early? Can I be that person this time? Because I never volunteer for that, ever, ever. So rested on the couch and then by later in the evening I was able to get some knitting done and knit a little bit, but didn't think this was going to affect me that much, but obviously it's stressing me out and I think it's stressing everyone out. Um, so that's kind of been our life. We haven't been doing a whole lot of different, um, just trying to stay calm because I think some people, they either get overproductive or they just completely shut down. And I have been both of those people in the span of time that I've stayed home. Granted, I would say the whole staying home part is pretty typical for me. I, I mean, we're just not getting fast food ever, which is the one thing we have changed, um, but otherwise, we wouldn't even eat at restaurants. We'd get fast food food and bring it home if we were going to go out to eat something. So, like, I'm a homebody, and I like being at home. <laughs> and I'm sure that will change by the end of this. Um, and I'll be really happy to go back into the office at work when this is done. But for now, I haven't minded staying home. But we're doing fine. Um, for family who watches us, we're doing fine. Um... We're keeping busy. Midnight has clearly chosen me as her favorite, which is driving Justin, my husband, bananas. <laughs> because even if he's home and he's not working, she will be in here. Like, love me, pet me. She just follows me everywhere. So she loves that I'm home right now. That's going to be a culture shock to her when I have to go back to work. But anyway, I think at this point I've been rambling. You know what's going on in the world. Um, so stay safe. Um... For family, love you. Friends, love you. Be safe. But yeah, stay safe. Um, be smart. Don't go out if you don't have to. And hopefully we'll all get through this. And in the meantime, if you can, craft some really awesome things and share them with me. Because I want to see what you're working on. Uh, but with that, I think I'm going to sign out. Let's make sure I didn't forget anything. Nope, I didn't forget anything. Um, you can find me again on Instagram as Victoria Schwanke. Ravelry is Lil Westy. WordPress is going to be WordPress.com. That's the blog. Obviously YouTube. Um, Facebook a little bit. If you liked this video, please like it on YouTube. Comment on YouTube. Share the video with your friends. I would love to get this out in the world a little bit more. And maybe it'll put a smile on someone's face that is now cooped up who's not used to be being cooped up. So, you know, the spread the joy, spread the positivity. Um, and with that, I hope you have a wonderful couple of weeks. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.